group that we're starting with is we're going to start with the grip on the sleeve here. Foot is going to be in the hip. And I'm locking my elbow, like I said, I'm facing my palm up. Now, for him to break this grip, what does he need to do? He needs to posture, right? And if he postures with his legs, he postures up. Now, his whole body's pulling against his one hand, right? How, so, the way I stop this is the foot's in the hip. I'm going to push this leg out. Now, it's going to be hard for him to posture. Now, from here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to reach up, and I'm going to get a grip on his lapel, just like this. So, now, I'm pulling, breaking his posture even more. It's going to be even harder for him to posture up and get out of here. So, again, we start with this rib. The foot's in the hip. This foot's going to push on his knee. It's going to make it step back. I'm going to grab his lapel, and I'm going to pull on it. Now, from here, this leg is going to just pass over his face. I'm going to lock my feet like we were before. I'm going to sit up, grab his hip. Now, from here, I'm going to pull, and I'm going to scoop my butt away. Breaking down, legs behind. My knee is going to drive to the mat. My hips are going to elevate, and I get the tap. So again, we're going to start with this grip, just like before. We get the grip. The same side foot is in the hip. This foot is going to push on this leg. It starts to extend it. Notice I'm pulling with this arm. I grab the lapel. I pull the lapel. I break his posture. Now this leg comes in over his face. I'm here. I sit up. I grab his. I can grab his uh, his lapel over here, or I can if, if I can pull his lapel out. This is even stronger. If I can get a hold of his lapel and pull it out and get the lapel like this. This is really strong. Then I start scooting, pulling. I break him down. My legs go behind me. I drive my knee to the mat, and then I elevate my hips. Okay, guys. Questions?